Good morning everyone. My name is Dr. Saurav Roy. I welcome you all in the second day of Microwave Engineering Lecture. So in the first lecture, we'll discuss about the Microwave Engineering. What is Microwave? What are the different practical application of Microwave in the different aspect like military, daily life as well as medical application. So we also discuss the electromagnetic spectrum so how electromagnetic spectrum is divided divided into different categories we also discuss about the ionizing radiation non ionizing radiation what are the effect of electromagnetic radiation in the human life as well as we will discuss hmm, the microwave application in different domains we also seen some practical application how we can use how electromagnetic oven is uh, working so those are the basic things we will discuss in the last lecture. Now in the, this lecture we will discuss about the transmission lines, wave guide and what are the different types of the wave guide. So first see what is transmission lines. So transmission lines is a medium which can transfer power from one point to another. So basically it is a two conductor system. So first we see what are the different types of transmission lines we are using. So first one of the important that one is coaxial cable. So here basically it is a two conductor. So here inner wire is copper and outer wire is then insulation layer then again another copper mesh then outside insulation. So basically it is a two conductor this one and that one. So two conductor system some isolation material is used. So coaxial cable used in our daily life. We have seen some TV cable and then dish, dish antenna cable as well as in our laboratory purpose also we are using coaxial cable. But there is some limitation of the use of the coaxial cable. We can use up to 3 gigahertz. After that, 3 gigahertz specially designed coaxial cable is used up to 10 gigahertz. But it is not possible after that beyond that reason. Why not possible? We'll discuss. But another type of transmission line is microstrip line. This is also used for different applications like antenna designing application. Microstrip lines are very useful. But it also works up to 10 gigahertz. So basically again uh, parallel waveguide and other transmission lines are also there. Basically all the transmission line is a two conductor system. One is a outer conductor or inner conductor or we can see that where uh, uh, one is ground another one is but whenever the things is means frequency is increases the effect of the uh, external electric field or interfer interference that two conductor system. So that's why uh, the things is uh, the bandwidth of the transmission line is decreases. Another way we can say that for lower frequency higher order modes are not available. But whenever we will uh, go to the higher order frequencies or higher frequencies the additional modes are generated so which affected the overall system and bring down the bandwidth. Now there is another transmission line which are we which can that is called specially designed transmission line which can use up to 10 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz in some cases with specially designed it's more. So what is the difference between this transmission line compared to the earlier transmission? First difference is in the earlier case, we have seen all transmission line is a two conductor system. But in this case, this transmission line or this called special design transmission line or web guide, it is a single conductor system. So here the uh, conductor is a single conductor system. And uh, whenever it guided the electromagnetic wave from one point to the another point. So as well as higher frequencies if increases then external electric field it is not affected that overall 
uh, opaquite because that is only one ground. So there will be full conducted system. So no external electric field is affected to that. That's why in higher frequency application we are using. So in the later on uh, uh, lecture also we will discuss in detail about the so again another important thing in the transmission line cases we have seen for the transmission line analysis which we have discussed in the electromagnetic wave and transmission line in your second year subject we discussed some distributed parameter analysis because space concept is coming in the transmission line so if the frequency is increases then frequency is directly related to the inductance and capacitance part of the circuit so a frequency capacitance and inductance value is also increases that's why in higher frequency or transmission line cases we are introducing the distributed parameter analysis here the two conductor system we divided into small part del x and that small part we consider inductance capacitance resistance and conductance and that is called distributed parameter analysis okay but in wave guide the wave is propagated to the multiple reflection takes place and uh, propagate from one point to the another so that is the basic difference between waveguide and transmission now coming to the next what is waveguide we already discussed what the in the last slide what is waveguide but we will discuss in detail here so first one first point is that it is a hollow metal tube okay so sometimes it is filled with air, air or sometimes some dielectric material is placed in the wave. Now another important thing that is a one conductor system. Next the inner surface of the wave guide is coated with gold or silver. Why? Because if your inner surface will coated with gold or silver the conductivity of the wave guide is increased. Another thing, we will make the web's waveguide surface more conductive, more as possible, or you will make its resistance as low as possible. So we will always use good conductor. Next, the velocity of the wave of propagation. So velocity of the wave of propagation is uh, normally compared to less to the normal because multiple reflection are is taking place so due to the multiple the velocity of wave of propagation is quite uh, compared to normal transmission of the electromagnetic wave it is quite less now object is transporting the electromagnetic energy from one point to the another point so that is the thing of the object so there are different types of object is available it's waveguide application we will see that uh, this shape either that circular waveguide or different types of waveguide designed for our usable things how can we uh, as per our necessity we are using different types of waveguide now why waveguide so it is high frequency application we can use in the waveguide only above certain frequency it is work so below those frequency that waveguide is not work another important aspect of the waveguide is used to reduce the attenuation losses to reduce the attenuation losses waveguide is used so whenever the waveguide started uh, its propagation so if it is uh, not properly meshed in the output side then reflection of the oil is generated so incident and reflected oil in the oil pad creates standing oil pattern so a same uh, case to the transmission line if the receiver side it is not properly meshed that uh, properly meshed then there will be reflection oil will be generated so we'll try to match it, the receiver side good way to reduce its losses now basically the types of object there are different types are available circular rectangular uh, other shapes also but for our 
uh, analysis pass pass we divided into two categories one is rectangular waveguide and another one is circular waveguide okay so rectangular waveguide it is a rectangular cross section so we have seen this type of waveguide is a rectangular waveguide so circular waveguide is quite different it is circular in nature but the compared to the rectangular waveguide circular waveguide is easier to manufacture so circular waveguide further application is used for in the optical domain also to for long distance communication so long distance waveguide transmission we are basically use the circular waveguide and now coming to the rectangular waveguide so that is the type of rectangular waveguide and how wave is move up from one point to the another point so that is c you can see visible all those things how i propagate through the rectangular waveguide now coming to the circular waveguide also we have seen here all those things are multiple reflection takes place like this incidence in that perfect conductor then again it is transmitted so that why successive reflection takes place so due to the successive reflection the velocity compared to if any wave travel from this point to this point its speed is normally the waveguide speed is compared less due to the successive reflection takes place so those are basically two types there are another type is spherical waveguide and other shapes also but uh, to analyze the waveguide in different modes and other things we discuss about the only rectangular waveguide as well as circular waveguide but in the waveguide one thing is there uh, in the transmission line we can uh, the transverse electromagnetic mode tem is supported as well as supported transfer electric and transfer magnetic but the, in the waveguide they are not supported transverse electromagnetic so they only supported either transfer electric or transfer another we can see that the uh, it is not used in the lower frequency means it may be started for after some certain frequency that that certain frequency here frequency is called the cut off frequency where the propagation will start so after that uh, it will works in the that particular ranges based on our different modes so that is the types of the waveguide now so we discuss in this lecture what is transmission line so again we repeat transmission line is a medium which can transfer power from one point to the another point transmission line used two conductor system there are different types of transmission line is there coaxial cable micro strip line and other so how the transmission like a, a line is work basically a, a distributor parameter analysis in the work and another things if uh, specially designed coaxial cable it is work in certain frequency up to 3 gigahertz or up to 10 gigahertz it can work but after that frequency reason it will not work properly because to the and also we are discussing about the application of the okay I got it used for the higher frequency application as well as what are the different types of the waveguide which one is better easier to manufacture and how waveguide reflection takes place and as well as we are discussing about the how I propagate through the rectangular waveguide medium. So those are the basic things we are discussing about the waveguide transmission line what are the necessity of the transmission line so the question related to this lecture so first what is transmission line uh, what is waveguide if, if both plate of the waveguide will short then what will happen so first starting what is transmission line transmission line is a medium which can transfer power from one point to another point so there are different types of transmission lines are there what is waveguide waveguide is also a one conductor system uh, which guided the electromagnetic oil from one point to the another point it is a hollow metal tube it can uh, convey them the electromagnetic energy 
from 10 gigahertz to 100 gigahertz. Now, one question is there, if one plate of the webguide or both plate of the webguide will short, then what will happen? If one plate of the webguide is shorted, then the incident web reflected to that uh, output side, if it is shorted, then again it is coming back. So, standing web pattern will generate. If both side we short it and uh, then KPG type of resonate will be there. Means it transmitted then reflected then transmission then then re resonance characteristics will generate. That, so those are the things we are discussing and those are the question related to the this lecture. So in the next lecture we will discuss about the field expression of the trans um, rectangular web guide. What is rectangular web guide? We discuss there. So next field expression of the rectangular web guide in transfer magnetic mode and transverse electric mode. So what are the different modes are available in the rec rectangular web guide? Why transfer electromagnetic mode is not used in the rectangular or not available in the rectangular web guide? So those we will discuss in the successive lectures. So thank you everyone. So in the next lecture we will see some mathematical expression of transfer magnetic mode, field expression of rectangular web guide. So thank you.